Porter coming in behind the jab. Crawford sets him up with a nice body shot. But that looping right hand, that was part of the strategy. I told you guys, straight right hand, looping right hands, that's the main shot that Crawford gets hit with often. But that right there, beautiful step back, create some space, catch Porter as he's coming forward with a beautiful check hook. Ryan McIntyre, Bo Mac as he is known among the Crawford family and friends was saying box him, box him, box him. And now the call to order changes of raise your level of intensity. Here we go, round nine. That's been missing from Crawford, the jab. He hasn't been on his jab. He's only landed 21% to this point. Porter's looking for the overhand right. He's looking to slip in behind the jab. He found it in the last round. There's a double jab from Crawford. Well, Kenny Porter is asking his, child, his son, Sean Porter, for a separation. Check hook again from the southpaw. The fight is close, it's tight. Where's the separation? Raise your game. That's what he's asking for. Olay. Crawford able to roll out to the left. Body shot from Porter. Crawford comes back jabbing. Sneaky body shot from Crawford in the inside right there on the right side of Porter. He's landed 23 body punches to this point with a minute to go in round nine. Looks like Porter wants to take a round off and Crawford needs to take advantage. Left hand to the body again and again. Lead left hand from Crawford. As Porter keeps taking those steps forward. Ooh. See Porter holding on, trying to get himself together. When you get hit with a shot like that, you got to reassess some things. Both guys landing. Some counters right there, exchanging. Going underneath with the left hand to the body. He's on back to his own way, he's lunging forward, coming behind the jab, lunging forward, put his head down, boom! Crawford meets him with a nice short uppercut on the inside. had a 14 to 10 connect advantage in that last round. Had nine power punches overall. 
92 to 79 connect advantage for Terrence Crawford. Body work in that last round and the short uppercut that we showed. You know, the body punches. 28. Patiently probing. Seeing what could be behind that jab. There's a combination. There's a lead left hand. Porter looks good on his feet, but not coming forward and firing at Crawford for the moment. There's the overhand right. And another combination. Beautiful. Slash father embracing the undefeated world champion and the rival trainer. Years ago, Kenny Porter had a heated exchange with Bud Crawford. They almost threw at each other. But it's nothing but respect now as grown men, as champions. Barry Hunter, who works the corner of Sean Porter, embracing Terrence Crawford. When he flips the switch, there are a few like him. Congratulations, champ. As he's making the rounds ringside, and now embracing Shakur Stevenson, who he mentors, already a two-division undefeated champion, a U.S. Olympian. What a great spirited effort by Showtime, Sean Porter. Until the end, until that 10th round, when he went down twice. Excellent, excellent fight. Eight and zero with 29 knockouts against the guy that nobody gets rid of, a guy that has been in with the best, a two-time welterweight champion who had a split decision loss to Errol Spence. Here's the first knockdown, Timmy. It's all about timing. Told you, Sean Porter makes too many mistakes lunging forward like that. Boom! Boom. Hit with an uppercut. Terrence step right to the side. Creating an angle for himself. Avoided those punches. Step back. Double step back. There you go. And then the end of the fight. So the left uppercut is the first knockdown. And watch this combination, Dre. Well, you see Crawford doing what he does best. Finish. Oh. He got that right hook in there. Not a shot he really landed thus far up until this point. It's a heavy, heavy shot for any fighter to take. Especially this late in the fight. Here we see a half step back. Boom, that's a signature shot that Terrence lands. He missed that, but he came back with the right hook and it landed flush. 
Down goes Sean Porter, and I think Kenny Porter stopped the fight, not necessarily because of what happened, but what was to come. George Crawford is the best finisher in the game, and he knew that it wasn't going to get any better for Sean Porter, especially if Sean wasn't himself and was dazed in the head and, and tried to keep off a guy like Terrence Crawford. Kenny was already up on the apron by the time his son turned around. And Dre, I think you are exactly correct. Just look at the celebration with Miss Deborah and his family. He has his mom, Deborah. He has the mother of his children, Isha, Shantae, and Leticia, his sisters. Everybody has made the trip, and they will be celebrating deep into the night as the belt is still his. Dre, I think you made a great point. Yes, the left uppercut in the first knocked out. Vicious. The right hook was to the temple. The right hook was to the temple. And his father knows the way Crawford goes about his business. Yes. It was going to get ugly. And the father did the right thing. And I know Sean's upset. But Crawford finishes in vicious ways. What do you say we make it official? Here's Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the time of 1 minute 21 seconds in round number 10. A referee in charge, Celestino Ruiz, stops the contest upon request of the corner. He is the winner by a technical knockout and still the undefeated WBO welterweight champion of the world, Terrence Bob Crawford. What a scene here at the Mandalay Bay. This is the final knockdown that ended the fight in the 10th round. Watch the right hand. A snot flying right hook from the undefeated Terrence Crawford and Kenny Porter. The father, the trainer said it's over. And the Crawford family always led by the energetic Miss Dever. And guess who we saw sitting ringside? Errol Spence, the other welterweight champion, who watched that knockdown, put his hand to his face, and said, I'm out of here. Spence and his guys got up, turned, and walked. Thurman, Spence, Danny Garcia, all those guys just walked up to 154 <laughs> after seeing this performance by Terrence Crawford. That is one of the most likable fighters of this generation, Sean Porter. Nothing but respect for this man who fought anybody, anywhere, anytime, and Bernardo's with him. Sean, obviously, not the way you wanted the fight to end. What are your thoughts on your father stopping the fight? Uh, no, he's he's doing what he what he uh, what he, he knows he needs to do. Uh, I didn't expect that. Um, somebody, we never had a conversation about that. We just kind of always had a uh, unspoken understanding that if he sees what he needs to see, he's gonna do what he did. Uh, I didn't expect it. Did you feel that you were in a condition to continue in this fight? Uh, yes. Uh, the the punch that he was catching me too clean, and I think that that's what my dad saw. I saw it, I felt it, and, you know, uh, I just think that uh, my, my timing was a little off. Great fighter over there couldn't, uh, wouldn't allow me to catch my rhythm. That was my game plan going in, not to allow him to catch his. Uh, he's, he's a dynamite dude, in and out of the ring. Congratulations. It's a, it was a typical Sean Porter fight. It was competitive. The judges had it very close until the, the stoppage came in the two knockdowns. But you are the only man who has been in the ring with every welterweight of consequence, every welterweight champion of this era, yeah. where do you place Terrence Crawford? I knew you'd ask who's the best out of everybody I've been in the ring with. There's it's no doubt that man, I think, hit me more than anybody I've been in the ring with. Uh, he was on point, A through Z. 
my the competitor in me, man, won't stop looking at him, wanting to fight him again. He's and he's and he's that good that I want to do it again. Uh, congratulations, but what makes him special, different? You know what? He 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 he's got it. And I said that uh, multiple times in interviews, inside and outside of the ring. He just has that, you know, on uh, on uh, uh, on Jerry Maguire, the, the, the Quan. He's that's what he's got. So good for him. Now, Kenny, I know that's the toughest decision for a father or a trainer to make. What prompted you to stop the fight tonight? Honestly, it's preparation. He didn't prepare like I wanted him to prepare. So that's just, you know, that just makes me say, you know what? I don't want him in that situation. He fought a great fighter. The guy is super sharp. And he's at a deficit. It's like fighting this guy blindfolded when you're in a deficit like that. So I wasn't going to let that happen to him. He looks in great shape, but only you knew what happened in the gym. How would you have liked for him to prepare that you didn't see? Well, I mean, you know, when, when guys get to certain levels, they believe they know what they're doing, and they don't necessarily take all the information. So, you know, this is where we're at with it, and I had to make that decision. It's an easy decision for me. It's easy. He lives right across the street from me. I'll be having breakfast with him in the morning. It's easy. Andre Ward said you didn't stop it because of what happened there. It was about what you were seeing could happen. Was that accurate? Oh, no, definitely what he did, you know, and Sean was hurt. And moving forward, this guy is, like I said, he's, he's a sharp fighter. And my kid is at a deficit at that point. He can't defend himself like he should. And I had to protect him. And finally for you, you've been in the corner against every elite welterweight of this era. What makes Terrence Crawford special? I, you know what, to, to just name one thing, I can't, but all things combined, he, he can do it. He can do everything that it needs to be done. Offense, defense, you know, switching sides, speed, quickness, and power. Thank you, Kenny. Sean, as always, thank you for your time. All right, now we have the champion, Terrence Bud Cropper, celebrating with everybody from Omaha who came here to see something special. How would you evaluate what you did tonight against a very competitive and tough Sean Porter? Well, first and foremost, I'd like to thank God for blessing me with this victory, because without him, none of this would be possible, you know. Shout out to everybody from Omaha that came to see your boy throw down. I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I love y'all to, to death for following me each and every arena that we rock. We're gonna keep rocking them out. But Sean Porter, you know, like I said before, I'm going to say it again, I can't say nothing bad about him, you know what I mean? Like, he been in there with everybody, he did what he could, I just was the better man today. It was a, a hard fight, it wasn't easy because no uh, Sean Porter fight's ever easy for the opponent. When did you figure him out? Uh, round one. Round one. I figured, I, I figured that I had to reach, he had to take chances to get in. You know, uh, I was a little stronger than him, and uh, he was just trying to, you know, do what he normally do, maul, and, you know, push me back, but I used my angles, and, you know, I pushed him back at times as well. Was he everything you expected? Was there anything different? No, no, no. Sean Porter is a good fighter. You know, he was doing some little slick, slick things in there, made me think it was think of, uh match for a point of time in there. Did you knew? Did you know there in that tenth round once you dropped him the first time that the fight was coming to an end soon? You said what? Did you know that after you dropped him that tenth round the fight would be coming to an end soon? Yeah, for sure, for sure. I knew I caught him with a good uppercut, and then when I uh, caught him with another left hook, I seen in his face that he was real hard, and you know his dad did the right thing by stopping him because I was coming with vengeance. Errol Spence was right there watching this fight. As soon as this stoppage happened, you walked out. What was your message to Errol Spence tonight? He was at my fight? Yeah. Now that boy said he wasn't going to never. He don't never be at my fights, but now he at my fights. Well, you see what I did, you know, compared to what he did. So, that's what happened. As soon as you, the stoppage happened, that's what happened with Errol. Hey, hey, listen. My thing is, who number one in the welterweight division now? Oh, oh, okay, okay. I love it. Who are you talking to? 
All right, now the future. The future, Terrence, because the most important thing is you make the decisions on what happens next in your career. What do you want next? Who do you want next? Well, you already know who I want. I I've been calling them out all day, you know what I mean? Maybe I'll go up to 154. Maybe a Spence get his tail out his butt, he'll fight me. You know what I mean? Whatever, you know what I mean? I will whatever. It wasn't about sending a message to Spence, you said, but in the end, you stopped him when he couldn't. What does that mean about you? It's just styles make fights, you know. I I look at all of us, we all great, you know what I mean? We all talented, we all got different styles, you know. Um, he won, I won, so I just look at it like, you know what I mean, no matter how, how the income go, at the end of the fight go, as long as you get the victory, that's all that matters at the end of the day. What'd you say to one another? Huh? What did you say to one another? Oh, I love him, you know what I mean? Sean Porter is a real good friend of mine. You know, I told him, you know what I mean, I really didn't want to fight him, you know what I mean? We always said we was going to fight each other, you know what I mean, when the time is right. And I guess the time was right for this fight to happen. You know, I was looking to fight other champions in the division. And, you know, since I couldn't get that, I had to go to the next best thing. Thank you for your time. Joe, back to you. Always honest. Quite refreshing. And very confident and with reason to be. Terrence Crawford, who said Kenny Porter did the right thing, saying when he landed that punch, he saw it in Sean Porter's face. And now all the congratulations for the champ. And all the conversations will go back to Will Errol Spence fight him. Remember September 2019, in a unification bout, Spence just got past Sean Porter with a split decision. So people said, well, let's see what Crawford does against Porter. Well, you just saw it. Appreciate everybody being with us for this exclusive ESPN Plus pay-per-view. And now, as is always the case with our ESPN boxing coverage, we will have our post-fight coverage. It is the state of boxing beginning right now.